Tonight, the mother of a man murdered in Travis County says she feels left without hope. She just learned the case against the man charged with killing her son was dismissed. KXAN's Alyssa Gord spoke with her today about how this development has left her questioning the justice system in Travis County. I mean, honestly, I don't feel like they care about him, about finding justice. For nearly five months, Lanisha Collins has been waiting for answers about what happened the evening her son was killed. Trayvon Fox was shot multiple times at a parking lot near Thermal Drive. 20-year-old DeAndre Connor was charged with his murder. And then there was no information, so I called the district, the district court. I was told it was dismissed on July 12th. The Travis County District Attorney's Office says Fox's death was the result of a drug deal gone wrong. But the reason they actually dropped the case is because there wasn't enough evidence to prove Connor was guilty. Ultimately, he said it was because it was going to be unwinnable. You know, nobody would have believed the witness um, because he wasn't credible or whatever. Collins says her son still doesn't have justice. If he wasn't a person of color, like I hate to bring color into it, but I feel like if he wasn't, the bond would have been a lot higher and there would have been a lot more done about it. She knows there's still a chance more surveillance video or new evidence could change things. If anybody has anything that they can take to the police so that they can reopen the case, that they would. Because I don't feel like I'll ever, I'm not going to have any peace the way things are right now. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The Travis County District Attorney's Office tells us they would absolutely consider any new evidence, video, or witnesses in this case. They also told us that it's not very common for a case like this to be dismissed, and they do not take that decision lightly. Texas court records show nearly half of criminal cases disposed last year ended in convictions, but more than a third, about 35% were dismissed, and fewer than 1% ended in, in acquittals where a person was found not guilty. We looked at some of the most common reasons for dismissing a criminal case. Prosecutors say the big one is insufficient evidence. It also happens when the defendant cannot be found, was convicted in another case, or is dead. And it comes up when the complaining witness has requested a dismissal.